Here it is, guys. That's a really nice little uh, trim pop-out tray here. Everything is labeled. And there's instructions. Holy moly. That is sharp. The gorgeous blue MN78 Cherokee. It's a nice little dust cover bag. This feels really nice. She's zippy. Oh yeah, she peeled out and everything. Wow. So you get a controller that needs two AA batteries. You got your Jeep and a battery charger. That looks about like a real Jeep Cherokee. Now it looks like a real Jeep Cherokee with six inch lift. That's awesome. This bad boy comes with a 260 brush motor. I think we can get to it with four screws pretty easy. We got plastic drive shafts. We're gonna leave on till they break. Now, if this is just like the Dev heels but bigger, but I mean, if it has the same kind of weak spots, it would be the little plastic hexes that go onto the steel axles. I'm guessing can slip, and then possibly the hex can slip inside of the wheel because they're such a small five millimeter hex. The drive shafts can break and slip. The little drive pinion yokes can break off. <laughs> And then on hard crashes, these parts right here, with the suspension and the pull rods, the connecting rods connect to the suspension. Those little mounts can break. But they feel a lot better on the MN, on this MN78 than they do with the WPL70 uh, C24. That is for sure. Everything feels a lot better on this than the WPL, that's for sure. Check out the upgradable connecting links you get. They're also different than the solid. They're alloy, but they resemble these, and they're different than all the other MNs. It doesn't look too hard to, to get the body off. Two screws there, and two screws in the back, and there's probably maybe two to four more. I think we can get four little screws out real quick and take a look at the motor and transmission here. I gotta show you the doors and the hood. Pretty dang nice. I got a little Walmart Ford Bronco in the back. So we, get, we can bring our RC car with us. Take this to the park and then take our little RC car for a rip. The fit and finish is really nice. It's a it's a nice durable ABS plastic. I love the hood in the battery compartment on this. So that's two little button buttons that click in and then you press down in the release. We have a 1200 milliamp, 7.4 volt, dual 18650 battery pack. We could change that out to Dean's real quick, right away, and then we can run lithium battery instead, and that should give us a nice little punch. We got our metal CVD drive shafts just in case, but she's ready to go. Let's take a look at that motor and transmission, and then hit the road and make it faster. I believe we can just uh, Is that it? Oh yeah. Oh, everything's coming out. Oh, I'm pulling everything out here, I think. So I guess just like the WPLs. There's our motor. 
single speed transmission right there. So our just our drive shafts are connected and the, the power wire and stuff. Let me see. Here's our motor. I can pop that back up in there easy. Is that crazy? Four screws, I can drop the motor. What does this look like with a... We got a 2430, 9200 KV, 370. Oh, this is like a 370. 260? What are you talking about 260? That's a 370. Look, I got a 370. Right here. 370. Look at that. It's a sealed, so they claim what, two, what do they claim, a 260 or 280? That's a 370, sealed. Oh, so I believe it has a motor, uh, metal motor pinion and plastic gears, the white urethane or nylon or some sort, but, well that's good news, yeah, let's go see what it does stock and then we'll, we'll brushless swap it real quick. The stock WPLC 24 motor is a sealed 180, and there you can see next to a 370, there's the little drone motor 716B, 816A, 816B, and then here's some little micro, I'm not even sure what these are, here's one that Gary gave me, here's one that I had extra, they're supposed to be really fast 180 motors, there was a time when I was doing 180 motor swaps originally on that. Not all 180s are the same either. Here's a 130. I don't even know what that is. It's about 130 length, but it's a cylinder. Here's the stock 9145 little mini basher 180. It's smaller than a 180. My camera's just looking funny. It's about the same height, deck height. It's just not quite as long. And then here's some here's some cheap 180s. Here's a really nice 180 dual ball bearing, stainless case, 3S rated, and then a brushless 2430, 370 size brushless motor. I had this stuff out just so I could kind of figure out what kind of system I'm going to run. So we're going to be like this some race tires, we got the race motor, and then a 35 amp, holy shit, the MN is a larger RC, definitely got a much larger wheelbase, even with the lift kit on this thing, now if you're ever wondering about the tracks, here's the little deal on the tracks, you need these Fay axles that have the square ends that this part pops on that fits inside of the tracks that's how that works now my idea was they come with brass they come with cheap brass parts like a little brass yoke that comes out it's unbelievable my idea was to upgrade it with hardened steel and that's all the farther I got I guess the new kits go on easier but here's the WPL gear this is like a powder pop metal alloy on a steel shaft but they have these splines and the splines can slip inside the plastic and the splines make it impossible to slip gears on and stuff it's so hard to get off I had to cut the old ones off Here's the original little 180 WPL transmission. Yeah, the MN is a whole different ball game. Much better. I can't really see myself getting another another WPL already. Like I'm just an MN guy now. These are still fun little sweet trucks though. Well, let's see how far this stuff will get us. This should be pretty fun. I've been meaning to show a bunch of these little mini RC cars. I got one left. This was actually the last one at Walmart at the moment, or at the time when I got it. It's been a while. It's just been sitting up here. So these are New Bright Nano Racers. There was like a 
yellow Corvette C8, uh, blue Mustang GT, little red Ford Bronco, and they're pretty sweet. You put two AA in the controller. I got two little rechargeable AA's in here, and you plop the RC on there off to charge it. The RC has a little lithium battery in, a little micro brush motor. You can trim it. It has functioning lights. Turn it on, and the, the controller is ready to go. It must turn off after a little bit if you don't use it. I had to trim mine a little bit, and it goes pretty straight. It does turn better, turn sharper to the right than to the left. So it wouldn't be very good at NASCAR, but it, decent little road racer here. See, I have to take the wide, wide lefts, and I can do the sharp rights. But it's pretty quick. It's pretty powerful for how little it is. I think it'll be a good race for the stock MN78. But look at that. That's legit, like somebody's RC car. That's a one eighth. That's full scale. This Jeep. You this Jeep has so much room. RC car in the back. Boom. You could put actual speaker sound effects. And it's not ridiculous to take off the chassis. That's so cool. Let's do a little drag race. I wonder what's faster. Stock MN78. Or a Nano Racer. One, two, three, go. Whoa, dang. We're going to need more room. The Jeep gets it off the line. There's a whole 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, we got right over. Seems to be okay, though. We'll line the Bronco up on the, in the right lane this time. Oh, that's nice. That's smooth. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Well, they're about the same speed. I think the little Bronco might be faster. Yeah. Oh, we made it off. Oh, the Jeep has to take wider corners too. Oh, I took him out. Whoa, he flipped back over. Hey, back's a bitch. Oh, we got him back. Oh, he's on the run. Oh, no, he got stuck. You're in trouble now, buddy. Oh, he's out of there. He, he can hide. Let's do a climbing test real quick here. Pretty solid. We gotta be more careful. There's no engine braking. Climbs it easy. Very easy. But we gotta be careful. She's a little, a little heavy. What a climber, though. Let's do that again. Wow. What happened? Oh, we turned it off. I turned it off. 
Well, I think I found the... Check this out, guys. Oh, I think I figured out how you can turn this off on accident on something like this. Uh oh. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen on stuff like this. Crasher again. Huh. You can accidentally run something over and it turns it off. Even though I can't get to replicate it again and I just keep crashing. I'm doing these durability tests for you. <laughs> She's all all good so far. It's pretty tough. It climbs up really easy though. Plenty of power. Definitely won't run out of power. That's awesome. Really controllable. Reverse is a little zippy. Pretty good. Let's bomb up it. Nice. Whoa. Good brakes. Awesome. She's nice and durable. I think this will be a good one to make fast. Whoa. <laughs> Reverse is trying to get me, man. Trying to give it a little break and it shoots in reverse on you. Yeah, when you're going slow like that, when you're trying to go slow, it just hits reverse instead of the brake. I changed the throttle right to see if low does that still. Oh, does low speed have engine braking? Oh shoot, I figured it out. Check it out. We're just gonna press the button and it releases. So this is like a high speed mode and a crawling mode. It changes the ESC parameters. So when you're crawling, you wanna be in slow so it gives you engine brake. I'm just gonna press the button when I get up the hill here. So engine braking is on in low range, low speed. Now I'm gonna press the button and go to high speed. We lose our engine braking. Ah, oh, that's neat. That's good to know. All right, we got a signal. So it's 0.9. Slowly walk down the stairs. Dun, 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 dun. We got fresh snow, rough snow. Oh, did I leave the controller on? I did. <laughs> I 
I believe we're topping her out. Two point nine. Two point nine mile an hour. Really smooth. Two point nine mile an hour anyway. That's pretty good. That's faster than the WPL. That was a uh, two point five, two point four or something like that stock. Another way you can make it a little faster: put a better ESC in it. Tires get pretty good grip for how small they are.
we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution Cherokee, that's amazing. With unlimited potential upgrading, customizing, the price point, if you can get this around $60, that's an amazing value. It's butter smooth, has a really long run time, powerful, it looks great. Not much to complain about. All you can is just let it to entry level, but it's fully upgradable. One more thing I noticed that makes it a little bit better than the WPL. See the front CVD here has a metal pin. Where the WPL, it was all one molded piece of plastic. That looks like it's going to be a little more durable. And especially in stock form, that looks plenty strong. So it's durable, it's strong, it can take crashes, it off roads, it's nice. Guys, this is perfect how it comes. I'm never getting another WPL. I like these MNs way better. This is way better. <laughs>